Hey, I'm gonna show you the new touch plate feature that is built into uh, Chili Pepper. Uh, I've got one of these probes, touch plate um, devices that you can buy off eBay for like $15, and I wanna get the uh, Absolute Z Zero for this uh, piece of acrylic so I can start milling. So what you do is you put this little um, device on. This has got 3.3 volts on it coming out of the Tiny G. Gerbil supports it as well. Uh, and then you've got this little alligator clip. So you go over to Chili Pepper and there's a new touch plate button. And what you can do is you, you hit this run button. So I'll go ahead and hit run. And notice that the probe starts moving. And when it touches, it will stop the movement. It'll give you an audible beep to let you know it's done. There we go. And then it it backs off by two millimeters, but it also adds the height of your touch plate to the uh, Z value. So notice that we're actually at a Z of 21. And I'll go ahead and I'll go to zero. And that's always a little bit scary, but it's looking correct. And then just to kind of prove that I'm at zero, I'll go left by 10 millimeter and right by 10 millimeter. And notice that the acrylic is sliding just a little bit, but just barely, right? I'm just skimming the top, which makes me feel like I'm at a pretty good Z0. Now, let's go ahead and um, go up again on this. Uh, I want to show you why the, um, the feed rate matters on this, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap in some styrofoam now. Okay, instead of that acrylic. And let's get it high enough to squeeze this in. And I just wanna show you uh, why you don't wanna to go too high on this feed rate, you know, because some folks might feel like it's too slow, but let's, let's go really high, like 300. Uh, and now let's run it. Okay, now watch the styrofoam. Um, see how warped that styrofoam got? That's pretty bad. Um, you don't really want that happening. Let's go even faster. Right, and it's just because there's a there's you know feedback to the hardware catching the interrupt of that circuit connecting, and um, and the pausing of the motion. Now, if you go really slow, like ten, and while that's running, I'm going to show you on the voltmeter what is happening here. Okay, so just to show you, uh, yeah, it's 3.3 volts coming out. And ultimately, you know, this is, uh, in fact, let's do this, right? It, it's being brought to ground, sorry. Um, so, right, it's got voltage, and then when it touches, it's being brought to ground, and that is what the Tiny G or the Gerbil microcontroller picking up. Okay, now this is the Tiny GV8, and it's the one with the screw down terminals here, but you can see um, that the, uh, the blue wire and the black wire connected to ground and the Z-min. Let me see if I can show you here. The names on the back, a little hard to read, but ultimately the Z-min is um, right where this blue wire is coming out, right here, and then the ground. Um, so that's what you got to do on your tiny G to hook this up. And then for this, I did find that twisting the, the um, wires helped to uh, reduce noise. But for this one, I, I pretty much have uh, an alligator clip and just a little piece of a PCB. So kind of a poor man solution. But in this case, I would um, just put it there. Now, the way I made this one, I actually have to kind of gently hold it there. And I sort of line it up as... Um, the I you know as this is descending so not a bad way to do it but I do like the one off of eBay much better so of course uh, what you do have to do here is measure the um, thickness of your touch plate so you can see here this uh, touch plate the eBay one is pretty much right at 19 millimeters uh, you know even if I measure it on some different spots like that I get a really good reading the um, the PCB version 
you know, PCBs are usually 1.75 millimeter thick, but it kind of depends. So that's 1.5, 1.6 roughly. I'll measure it from a different angle. Getting about 1.6. So um, that's that's good enough. And then you you punch that into the touch plate height setting inside the widget and chili pepper.